everyone. I think most mums and dads would agree that there's a pretty hefty list of things about being a parent that you didn't realise were the case before you had a baby. And I'm here to tell you the three things that I had no clue were going to be the case before I had kids. Guilt, mum guilt. I had no idea how guilty I would feel about everything, just everything, from leaving my children with their nan while I went out for a date with my husband, to starting nursery and me going back to work, that I only read them two stories when they were asking for a third, guilt for trying to get on with things, jobs around the house, when I could be playing with them. There's just an endless list of possible things you can feel guilty about. And I knew there'd be elements of that in being a mum, but I had no idea just how many things I could feel guilty for. You will know no pain, childbirth aside, like standing on a plastic toy or Lego brick, all of the above. When you go to kiss your child goodnight, you're not expecting to find little missiles left on the floor. Your feet aren't expecting that and it hurts. All the bits that you worry about, particularly when you've got a newborn, those problems that have you tearing your hair up, it will all pass. I think that's probably the biggest thing that I learnt from my first baby, I took away from that experience when I went on to have more children, that for the most part all the things that you that you really worry about aren't permanent. Like. I remember sitting on the sofa when my firstborn was maybe three weeks old, googling will my baby ever stop crying because I just couldn't picture a day when he wouldn't cry, you know that sort of awful time between 5 and 8pm, didn't know what to do with him and I couldn't even pinpoint the day when it changed but just all of a sudden that didn't happen anymore and he was fine but then of course there's going to be a new problem that comes along to replace the old one but that will pass too and I think that really helps. That's a piece of advice that I've passed on to friends, you know, try not to sweat the small stuff because it doesn't feel small at the time but in the grand scheme of things it is because it will pass and you know you'll soon be worrying about weaning and potty training and starting school and homework and on a side note my eight-year-old has his first crush. He's eight. I can't remember having a first crush when I was eight, but there you go. He's got his first crush on a girl in his class and it's, it's kind of cute, but also terrifying. So yeah, I think that's probably the biggest thing that I've learned that nobody told me before I had children is just, for the most part, these difficulties are pretty fleeting and you know, you'll, you'll have it sussed out in no time. So thanks for watching, I hope you found this video useful. Remember to subscribe to Channel Mum and to my playlist and I'll see you in my next video. Twins and they are three months old. Um, today's video is about...